I am here to welcome you to Trinity, a school which opens for you in September 2020. I know we are living in the most extraordinary times, perhaps never since the summer of 1940 has our country faced such a crisis. COVID-19 has made a lasting impression on the world, on Europe and on England and on schooling. Nevertheless, we are going to go forward. When you come here, we begin a partnership. We stretch out our hand to clasp yours, to go forward on a long road which broadens and you will develop. You will develop into mature young men and women dedicated to learning. We want you to be happy here. A child has a natural right to be happy. A happy child does better, achieves more. And we are here to help you that. We are public servants, paid by the public purse for a public duty. But we also regard this as a vocation. Cardinal Hume said, schools should produce young people with ideas and dreams, with a vision of what they want to achieve in life, who have a strong sense of service, of care and compassion for those in need, and who have, above all else, a love of life, a zest for living life to the full. It is that love of life and love of learning that we want all of our students to develop whilst they are with us at Trinity. Being a teacher is not a job, it's a way of life and we are here to serve you all your days so that when our partnership is finished you can look back and say I am better, I am stronger, I am richer for being a Trinity. Our curriculum reflects the school's distinctive Catholic mission. Christ and the teachings of the Catholic Church are at the centre of students' education at Trinity. We are committed to the holistic development of each child, growing the spiritual, intellectual, moral, cultural, social, mental and physical potential of students. I work at Trinity Catholic High School, not just within the chaplaincy team, but also as head of social sciences, teaching psychology, sociology and RE. So no doubt we will encounter each other on many different occasions. This chapel on the lower site is uh, at the heart of the school. We have another chapel on upper site and here in our chapel and in the chapel on lower site God is present. It's the beating heart of the school. Our Key Stage 3 curriculum reflects the curriculum vision of the school in that we provide a learning environment of high expectations and high aspirations for all. A curriculum that is stimulating, rich and rigorous, that meets the needs of each individual. Pupil achievement at Trinity Catholic High School is outstanding and well above national levels at GCSE. Very high pupil achievement at GCSE has been recognised in all five of our Ofsted inspections, as well as our Section 48 inspections. These inspections are of the school's Catholic identity. On lower site each morning we celebrate Mass at 8.20. The Franciscan friars come in and we are joined together in word and sacrament. So Christ is very much at the centre of our prayer life and of what we do in every aspect of our school life. Our Key Stage 3 curriculum is designed to be rich in knowledge across a wide range of subjects ensuring that we not only fulfil the national curriculum but also look to extend students' knowledge and develop skills that will equip them for further study at Key Stage 4 and importantly for when they leave school. The Special Educational Needs Department at Trinity is here to help students who might need some additional support at school. This can include support with literacy needs with a particular focus on reading and spelling support with social emotional needs, support with preparation for GCSEs, and support with post-16 preparations. Our department runs a number of very successful interventions to support students to develop their literacy skills. And we also run some very popular lunchtime clubs. In the New Testament, Jesus gives us the golden rule, which is to love God 
and to love neighbour. Because when you come to Trinity Catholic High School, you will discover that your neighbour are the other 29 students in your form class, the other teachers. And so to help live that out, at Trinity School, we become active Catholics serving others. It is a curriculum for all, accessible for all and challenging for all. Students are provided with learning journeys which clearly articulate to students what they are studying and why it is important that they are studying these topics. We welcome parents and guardians to engage with these learning journeys as well. In the core subjects of English and Mathematics, pupil achievement is very strong. In 2019, 92% of pupils achieved grades 9 to 4, 30 percentage points above the national average. In Mathematics, 86% obtained grades 9 to 4, a significant 26 percentage points above the national figure. Such results have been maintained over the years and are a testament to a rigorous curriculum offer, teaching underpinned by high expectations, a dedicated, committed, professional teaching body, the hard work of pupils and importantly, excellent relationships between parents and the school. At subject level, each curriculum has been designed to engage and inspire students to pique their interest in the subject and get them to ask those big questions, to highlight misunderstandings and to demonstrate tangible and meaningful connections with other subjects. Trinity has the benefit of modern foreign language assistance in French and Spanish. Pupil achievement at the very top grades of 9-7, the old A star to A grades, is exceptional. In 2019, nearly 40% of all GCC grades were between 9 and 7, and just over a third of our pupils gained at least five 9 to 7 GCC grades. Tuition in musical instruments and voice is available in all years. The music department runs a busy extracurricular programme across all year groups. We offer a school orchestra and a wind band for students who play orchestral instruments as well as several choirs and a ukulele club. These ensembles perform in concerts at school with Christmas carol concerts and in the summer. The department also takes small groups to perform at venues outside. In the past we have taken instrumental groups on music tours abroad and we will often visit the theatres or concert halls in the West End. During the spring term, students from year 9 to 13 are invited to take part in rock and pop bands with regular rehearsals in preparation for a concert at the end of the term. Across the range of other subject disciplines, be it the sciences, languages, religious education, the humanities, arts, technology, physical education, pupils similarly show very high levels of success at GCC and typically within the top 20% of schools. All students are expected to take part in the school's physical education programme. Our aim in PE is that all students feel confident and successful in their lessons and develop lifelong habits leading balanced and active healthy lifestyles. Our programme will promote self-esteem, fitness and teamwork. You will be given opportunities to be creative by planning routines and tactics in a range of activities. Students will develop their mental health through being successful in structured activities which enhance self-efficacy, social skills and confidence. All of our PE classes are taught in mixed ability groups. Boys and girls are also taught separately. We expect everyone to try their best at all times. We have excellent facilities for you to enjoy your PE lessons including a large gymnasium on lower site. We also have a large sports hall on upper site. Our off-site facilities include a large playing field called Whitbreads. In the summer term, we're extremely lucky to use Woodford Wells Tennis Club for your tennis lessons. And in year 10, you will also have the opportunity to play squash there as well. The clubs that we run include a gym club before school. And after school, we run netball, football, rugby, table tennis, futsal, trampolining and badminton clubs. We also have a range of opportunities for school teams, including swimming, netball, football, cross-country, rugby, athletics and tennis. We want our students to be knowledgeable, to question, to find out more, or indeed to understand that sometimes there is not an established answer to their question, and to be excellent communicators. At the forefront of this 
is a school-wide focus on reading through our dedicated daily reading period for years 7 to 10. And every teacher in the school is a teacher of reading. And we seek to develop a love of reading from day one. Each department recommends great reads that are likely to inspire students and we would encourage parents to look at these recommendations as well, perhaps reading at home together. The school is fully committed to supporting the academic aspirations of every child. We strive to nurture personal excellence, the capacity and wherewithal for continual development so that each and every one of our pupils is helped to develop their unique and individual talents to the full, for their own sake as well as that of others in the local and global communities. All students in Key Stage 3 study religious education sharing their own faith and learning about other people's faith as part of their curriculum work. Through our two-week cycle of lessons, we have increased the amount of contact teaching time in RE at Key Stage 3 to ensure that students have the fullest opportunity to connect to their faith and its role within their lives and the wider world. We have a discipleship programme and you will all be enrolled on that and I hope you will engage with it in order to really live out your faith and to become an active Catholic. And that programme ties in with, for example, the Duke of Edinburgh programme to help us develop our moral well-being, our emotional well-being, our socialisation skills and our cultural understanding. Because above all, created in the image and likeness of God, we develop our spirituality, our relationship with God and our relationship with each other. The national curriculum is just one element in the education of every child at Trinity. We have a wide range of enrichment activities planned through the week to enhance and enrich the curriculum offer and masterclasses are held to inspire students to delve deeper into key areas. Extracurricular trips at Key Stage 3 include visits to museums, theatres, art galleries, religious places of worship, football stadia, concert venues, Epping Forest or indeed using our own Padua Woods. Ultimately, we encourage students to be proud members of the school to appreciate the respectful and positive culture of the school that seeks for each individual to flourish and meet their full potential. We want to prepare students for the opportunities and responsibilities for the next stages of their life and the adult world. From day one at Trinity, we prepare our students to be dynamic and flexible and kind in an ever-changing world. So, as you begin your process of applying for schools and hopefully coming to Trinity, Let's start as we mean to go on. Let's think about what we want out of a secondary school and we want to be fully educated, a fully rounded person. It's not just about exam results, it's about having the skills and the personality and the character to go into the world, into adulthood. So, never mind the difficulties. Look forward to September. We certainly are. Our partnership is about to begin. It will be exciting. It will be adventurous. It will be lasting. We look forward to you coming here. Thank you for listening.